Hey friends, Pastor Michael here, and it's a Friday at Mayfair Bible Church. Would you like to take a little walk with me? I want to take you on a journey about something that is happening this Sunday here at Mayfair Bible Church. But along our little walk here, I want to tell you about what's coming up in two weeks. On Sunday, June 13th, that's the Sunday of Flushing Summerfest, we're going to have church at the park at the Riverview Park Bandshell, or as some people might call the amphitheater. That's going to be at 10.30, and we're going to have coffee and cookies out there before the service. Where There's going to be a child zone, like a family fun zone, with a Thrive Kids staff helping out. And it's going to be a beautiful morning. We're praying for great weather. We, we did this two years ago. You might recall two years ago, before the pandemic, and we had some 400, 500 people come to church at the park. And so we're so excited about doing this again here in 2021, Church at the Park as a part of Flushing's Summerfest. We're hosting this and we're inviting you to come along and bring your friends, bring your neighbors. It's gonna be a beautiful morning of worship. And it'll be one hour, 10.30 to 11.30. We'll celebrate the Lord's Supper together. That is communion out in the park. And join us in prayer for a great, clear weather morning and a time of exalting our Savior Jesus Christ and proclaiming the gospel. And so stay tuned about that. If you want to be on a serve team for church at the park, we invite you to participate. You can be in the Family Fun Zone. You can help out with setup and tear down. You can be on our welcome team greeting friends and neighbors. You can be on the parking lot crew to help people find where to park down there in downtown Flushing. We won't have services here at Mayfair Bible Church on June 13th because it will be church at the park and so we want to make sure that everybody knows about this. Unless the weather is incredibly bad, we won't be here at our property. We will be downtown Flushing for Church at the Park at 1030. Also, next Sunday, so not this weekend, but the following, we're gonna have Life Challenge, the Men's Center in Flint. They've been with us several times, sharing about God's transforming power through His gospel in their lives and setting them free from the bonds of addiction and helping them walk in that freedom as followers of Jesus Christ. They'll be with us June 6th. Now, for this Sunday, this Sunday, Memorial Day weekend, I want to take you on this little journey over here up to our baptistry. Some years ago, men and women planned this, this beautiful baptistry center for people to be baptized, proclaiming their new identity in Jesus Christ. And this Sunday, we have at least five or six people, children and adults planning to be baptized. And so if you are here right at 10, 44 and a half, you will see these beautiful, beautiful baptisms take place, proclaiming Jesus Christ. So I want to show you this here because some of you may not even know what it's like. See, this is our baptistry. If there's some kids maybe saying, hey, I'm, I want to be baptized. I, I've not, I know Jesus Christ is my Savior, but I've not yet taken that step to proclaim my identity in Him, to publicly say, I'm a follower of Jesus and I am serving Him. I choose today, I'm deciding that I will obey Him, love Him, and serve Him for the rest of my life. If you've not done that, you can participate even this Sunday. There is still time or in a Sunday to come and it's safe. I know when my kids were baptized, they were nervous about the whole situation at first until they saw this is where it happens right here. It's like one giant bathtub and you can participate here in proclaiming publicly that you are a follower of Jesus Christ. So this Sunday at our 1045 service, the service will kick off. You see we have a men's section and a ladies section. The service will kick off this Sunday with baptisms and announcements. We will lift our voices in praise to our Savior Jesus Christ. I'm looking forward to it. We will continue our Heart of Prayer series. And I'm going to do a two-part section as a pinnacle of this Heart of Prayer series in John 17 in Christ's high priestly prayer. This is his prayer before the Father for his disciples and for us. And so this Sunday we're going to dive into John 17. This is like leaning in to Jesus' final words on the eve of his crucifixion. What is on Jesus' heart in his prayer to the Father moments before he'd be crucified for us and for our salvation? John 17 is where we're going to go this Sunday 
and on Church at the Park Sunday when I wrap up this series on the heart of prayer. So I look forward to seeing you this Sunday morning. Hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend as we celebrate the freedoms that we enjoy and as we look and we remember the men and women who have sacrificed their lives for the freedoms that we enjoy in this nation. May God bless you. I'll see you this coming Lord's Day. Love you so much. Bye-bye.